Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going down memory lane to explore a hidden gem of 90s television, Herman's Head, which starred William Ragsdale as the titular character Herman Brooks and discussing what made this show so unique and what led to its ultimate cancellation. For those who don't know, the show revolved around the personified aspects of Herman Brooks' psyche, his emotions, intellect and instincts were represented by characters living inside of his head, each vying for control of his decisions. Molly Hagen portrayed his sensitivity, Ken Hudson Campbell, his lust, Rick Lawless, his anxiety, and Peter McKenzie, his intellect. The concept was fresh and unique, offering a comedic exploration of the human psyche and viewers were drawn to its quirky characters and relatable scenarios. The show boasted a talented cast, including William Ragsdale as Herman Brooks. William Ragsdale had previously starred in the highly successful horror movie Fright Night from 1985, as well as its sequel, Fright Night 2 from 1988. It also featured two cast members who were simultaneously starring in another Fox-produced show, The Simpsons, the first being Yardley Smith, the voice of Lisa Simpson and the other being the extremely talented Hank Azaria, who has provided the voice for many of the Simpsons characters, including Apu, Chief Wiggum, Moe, Comic Book Guy, and many, many others. It also starred Jane Sabet as Hetty Newman. Now, she might be best known for her role as Carol on the mega-hit TV show, Friends. Unfortunately, Herman's Head didn't do extremely well in the ratings, but to be fair, None of the Fox-produced TV shows were killing it in the ratings back in the early 1990s. It was ultimately canceled in 1994 after three seasons and 72 episodes. And while it may not have achieved the same longevity as other sitcoms of its time, its impact is undeniable. One has to wonder how much it influenced the creation of the Disney Pixar hit movie Inside Out. After the show was canceled, William Ragsdale would star in another television show in the late 1990s called Brothers Keeper, which co-starred Sean O'Brien. This show would only last one season. With that said, he has continued to stay busy with roles in both television and film to this day. Now here's one last image from an episode off the first season of Herman's Head that actually featured Jennifer Aniston in a guest role. And here's where I want to hear from you. How many of you remember watching Herman's Head and what were your thoughts on the show? I remember really liking the show when it was originally broadcast and as I mentioned, I definitely wonder how much of an influence it was on the creation of Inside Out. Now I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel where I talk about the movies, music, and TV shows that I watched and loved while growing up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. As always, thank you so much for watching, stay safe out there, and have a great day.